Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of December 16th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Nicole Eredix. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. I'll start out um, on Thanksgiving. Actually, I think it was on Thanksgiving Day. I spilled water on my laptop, which I feel like I have done many times before and nothing has happened. But this time it must have just found right the correct little area to flow down into to completely freeze up and kill my beloved laptop. It was very tragic. Yes. So I have purchased another. Uh, I got one of the new Apple 16-inch MacBook Pros, and I am enjoying it very much. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about the ridiculous ease with which new computers can be set up these days. Uh, You know, I remember with Apple's It used to be that they made it very easy to flow things from one computer to the other computer, and that was really nice. But in this case, you don't even have to do that. And it's not just the Apple Cloud, it's Dropbox, it's uh, Google Drive, it's all the places I have stuff, and you can just go to your new computer and log in and poof, it's all there. Yeah. Everything you want. You know, you can set up your browser exactly the same way. I'm in Google Chrome, you log into Google Chrome, got all my bookmarks. It just happens so quickly. I mean, you do have to click through a bunch of two-factor authorization things, which is comforting to me to know that that stuff Mm -hmm. actually works. But it's really, you know, it comes up on your phone. Is this you? And you hit yes, and you're on your way. It's, you know, as uncomfortable as I feel about the cloud sometimes, like who's looking at that stuff? Are people mining my data from this stuff that I have put with them for free? And is this really safe for me to have all these things? And boy, when you need it, and mm-hmm. things just are there with no time at all, in no time at all on multiple. Mm-hmm. I mean, first I had to use my son's laptop. And so I, I did that for my son's laptop and poof, it was replicating my old machine. And then I got my new one and I did the same thing and just hardly any time it's all there. So I am setting aside any reservations I have with the cloud and just saying, wow, is this nice? This is really nice. You know, it really Mm -hmm. makes things so easy and as as little trauma as possible to get yourself right back exactly where you were. Just like, you know, magical beings came and took care of all that. Yes. So hooray for modern technology. I will co-sign. You've done the same thing recently, right? Yeah, since I recently finally got rid of my ancient laptop and got a new one. And, <laughs> and you know, I didn't do it for so long because I was afraid of that process. Yeah. And it's really, right. it's really quite easy. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's like I mean my my old computer was dead so I can't couldn't get anything off it but I really had very little that was just on that one. Um you know in the the app store just downloads all your same apps that you had and um everything is connected in the cloud. A few things I didn't have connected and now I do so in the future it won't be an issue. Right. Golly, it's a miracle. Mm-hmm. It's magic. It's very comforting. Nicole, what do you have to share this week? Well, I've done a lot of travel recently and um, have rented a lot of cars because I'm not a big Uber or Lyft user. And I have found that if you're a member of Costco, you also have access to their travel department. Oh. So Costco has a travel department. I don't know if you knew that or not. No. Um, they have limited selections of hotels, but what they're really good with is their car rentals. Mm. So mm. for the past year, I've been renting my cars through Costco Travel, and there's at least a 30% discount on the rates. And I find it so affordable and surprisingly mm. inexpensive. Like I'm constantly surprised at how cheap huh? my car rentals are. And you can do it all online. You don't have to... Um, fuss around with the, you know, the going, you know, getting directed to another website Mm or you can make the booking right then and there. And you can, you know, it shows you all your options and you can do any add ons you want right then and there. But I've been consistently and pleasantly surprised at the great rates that I've been getting for car rentals. And they've all been, and you usually get because it's, um, because you have the membership of Costco, you always get an upgrade to a better car. So you get like, 
you know, the base car for the price and then they offer you a free upgrade. So then you end up getting a really good car oh, for a great price. Wow. So yeah. So I've been using that and I thought they deserve a shout out. Things for their I did not know service. about Costco. Yeah. I didn't I know. know. That. They do cruises and, um, and we even bought our last vehicle through Costco. What? So yeah. So that's Costco provides a lot. Nice. Uh-huh. So there you go. Yes. Cool. Has, can Costco provide Catherine with an idea of what to talk about on uh, round <laughs> five? Yes. I ha- I'm going to talk about the movie Where'd You Go, Bernadette? Oh, yeah. So well, based on a book that you talked about on round two, I believe. Yes. And I, I really enjoyed the book. And I think the movie got some flack. And I don't know if it, like the, the person, the author, was a screenwriter before she was a novelist, but yet she didn't write the screenplay. And anyway, it mm. was just ignore all that and just watch the movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was enjoyable. It was funny. Kate Blanchett is great. And yeah, um, she got nominated for a Golden Globe for that movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, those just came out. Um, Much to the surprise of all the podcast people I listen to. <laughs> where did that one come from? But. Well, I mean, she's good in everything she does, yes, but she, she was really good is. in this, um, playing this extremely quirky, if not just downright strange person, um, <laughs> Bernadette. And the the house that they live in, that she and her family live in, is really a character in, in both the book and the movie. Um mm-hmm. And that was fun to see. And it's just a great mother-daughter story. Um, her and her like 14-year-old-ish daughter. And um, it's just, it was, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So. Who plays the daughter? Anybody that uh, we've seen before in anything? Mm, I don't recognize, I didn't recognize her as somebody, but uh-huh. I can look it up real quick. <laughs> Um, but she was great. She was great. The the actress who played the daughter, mm-hmm. and like Kirsten Wig is in it playing like wow. Not, oh, I love her. Not really a a funny character. Um, like mm-hmm. she surprises you in it because she's she's not what you were expecting. Um, Kirsten Wig. She plays like the mm-hmm. neighbor. So, mm-hmm. and let's see, the daughter. Is why? She, oh, her name is Emma Nelson. Oh, so she's been in something called Margaret and the Moon. Other than okay, <laughs> <laughs> so other newcomer, than, yeah, newcomer. Oh, which is a student film. So <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely not good something her. we have seen. So good job, Emma. Got herself a movie with Kate Blanchett. Yes, nice going. Yeah, and she can she can do it. You know, she can. Mm-hmm. She's. She can act in the same space as <laughs> Kate <Nice>. Blanchett. <laughs> so good for her. And that Yay. is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker or Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about needing to be needed, parenting trends, and childhood obsessions. You can also find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter with you'll find us at roundabout chat and you can also if you're still christmas shopping visit yeah. our amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude where you can find links to a lot of things that we talk about here have a great weekend everyone and see you back here on monday